All right, all right. Thanks for stopping by. I've been tinkering yet again. I have decided to move the cargo box all the way over to the left on the platform. And of course, it's bolted down to the platform. Now I have room for my bucket and my trash container on this side. Before, when the box was centered on the platform, I only had room for the bucket. The blue uh, container, I used to have to strap back here when the box closed in against the van. I used to strap it back here on this railing. Now I don't have to do that. I can put everything there. And I also made a decision that I did not want to keep the e-bike outside of the van. I had tried it many different ways. It will fit. It will fold up and fit right where the bucket and the trash container is. And then I could ratchet strap it down to the platform. But when it's out in the weather like that, and I do have a cable lock that I could put on it to keep it from getting stolen. Maybe, maybe not. I just didn't want to leave it out in the weather all the time because the electronics are kind of delicate on it. So I have got it squeezed in back here behind these solar panels. It barely fit. I mean, it is a tight squeeze. You can see the pedal sticking out here. This bike did not come with folding pedals. I think I'm going to invest in some folding pedals. Now the door does shut. Let me show you. So it closes. Everything's back there. But when I open the door, I'm lucky stuff don't start falling out. You can see the handlebars here. They fold down too, but it actually works better if you don't fold the handlebars down. Just leave it up. But I've got it crammed in here pretty good. Uh, let me show you. See, it just barely fits. This door here will close in and it hits right against that and holds it in. So I don't have to strap anything down. The tension of the doors holds everything in place. I put this bungee around it to keep it closed. Here's the back wheel. There's the front tire. You can see I've been driving, riding it in the dirt. But I got lucky that this even works. I mean, it is a tight fit. Here, let's close it all up again. And there we go. All buttoned up. So if I end up not getting folding pedals, I just got to remember to keep the pedal right here before I close the door because it's got plenty of room to go into this gap. That's where I stuff all my bungee cords. Got too many bungee cords. Another thing is I used to keep my dirty clothes hamper right here. And it's uh, this gray tote here, right there. I think I'm going to get rid of that and just go with a bag, like a duffel bag, laundry bag thing. That way I can just put it right here. Too many crates. What a mess. But it works. This way I don't have to worry about leaving the bike outside on the cargo rack all the time don't have to worry about buying a cover for it don't have to worry about locking it down ratchet strap it's just a pain in the butt to strap it to this platform i mean it took like 30 35 minutes just to do that and being able to just put it in the little trunk space back here you know five minutes and it's more secure so until I get my laundry bag, for right now I've just got to put this dirty laundry container on its side like this. But the problem is it kind of blocks the fan when the door's shut. So if I needed the fan to blow on me, it'd kind of block it. So i got to get rid of that. Okay, so let's shut the left door and then put the solar panels in and then we can shut the right door. 
Okay, left door shut. Solar panels are kind of tucked over behind there a little better this time. And now, let's shut this door. Perfect. I'm going to have to flatten this box down. This is the box that the bike came in. And strap it to the top of the cargo box. And take it to a dumpster or a cardboard recycle dumpster or something. And that's not going to be fun. But I think I can just cut it in half and then flatten it down and then just strap it on top. Because, you know, I always put the ratchet strap over this cargo box, even though it's bolted down. I always use this across the top. And then I snug it down with the ratchet just to give it some extra stability. So I'll put the cardboard up under there and then go over that with the ratchet strap. Okay, we'll wrap up this Tinker Tuesday. Take care, be well, smash the bell. Mm -hmm.